Welcome to the Step Point of View Study Guide, and in this lesson, we learn about the immune system organs. The primary lymphoid organs. This includes the bone marrow and thymus. The bone marrow is where the B cells mature and the immune cells are produced. The thymus is where T cells mature. Secondary lymphoid organs. These include the pear patches, spleen, tonsils, and lymph nodes. The functions of the lymph nodes are to filter macrophages, T cells, and B cells, and it also activates an immune response. Lymph nodes have many afferents and one or more efferents. Lymph nodes contain endothelial venules where T and B cells enter. They are encapsulated and contain trabeculae. The primary follicle is dense and dormant. The secondary follicle is active. It contains the mantle zone and the germinal center. The medullary cords contain lymphocytes and plasma cells. The medullary sinus contains reticular cells and macrophages. The paracortex contains T cells. The paracortex enlarges during an extreme immune response, for example, the Epstein Barr virus. And in De George syndrome, it is underdeveloped. That's all for today, folks. We'll see you in the next video.